Hi, um, welcome to the second lesson in Audacity. In the last lesson, we saw the basic, we used the basic um, tools, um, but now this time we're going to start um, pulling different tracks together. So, first of all, we're going to uh, in this lesson we're going to import a pre-recorded track, and then we're going to edit that pre-existing track, and then we're going to record another voice track, and then we're going to duck the music behind that and arrange the tracks on a timeline. So, let's get on with it. So here we go, Audacity again. Now this time I'm going to open a pre-existing track. I'm going to grab a piece of music from my um, music file. And I'm going to open. And I'm going to um, click on this track here. And it's importing for me. So I've grabbed my MP3 file and here it comes, it's uploaded up. Now, what we can see here is a whole track compressed into 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Now, we only want the first few seconds of this track here, so we want to zoom in so we can actually see the bit that we want. Um, and we want to see the first, here's the first 50 seconds. So let's just minimize the minimize this a bit more so we can just see what we're going on. And then we play and we listen to what we want. And I think I probably want I think I'm gonna take take the first fifteen or so seconds here. So stop that. And you don't have to be too exact because you can clean up later on, but I want probably until about, let's take this section here. And what you can do is you can copy that, so Control C, and then in our new, in this version here, we're going to go paste. Now, I've just taken the first 15 seconds of that track, so let's just minimize that down. So I've taken this track and I want to play this. Yep, this is what I want. And I've now start building up, but I think possibly at the end here it's not what I want, so I can just click on the end here and press the delete key and I can get rid of that. And then just like we did last in the last lesson, I can probably um fade this out. And now I've got a bit of a introduction track to my program that I want to make so let's do this. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so this is my start track and you can rename your tracks here. So I'll delete that and I'll call this intro track. Okay. Now I want to mute this track because I'm going to now record my voiceover and I'm going to record and just start talking and don't know what I'm going to say, completely random really um, and as I'm talking again I'm creating a track but it's not being muddled up with this previous track here and we'll stop that. Now I unmute that and if I play them together my voice is competing with the music in the background here um, and sometimes that can be okay and we can decide what we want to do with that music but on other times it's it's irritating so what we want to do now is we want to minimize and then what we can do with this tool here is we can actually slide the music along on the timeline or the voice track in this instance along the timeline and we might decide that actually what we want is actually to have as as our as we're talking the music fades out in the background fades out more than we had on um, just by using fade out and that's when we can use this thing called ducking so we click on this tool here and this ducking enables us to click um, and actually tone right down you, cre you create points you click here and here and I can drag this right down um, put a click point here okay and so what I can do is I can compress the music right down um, 
as I start the talk. So come back to here. The effect will be as we ro as we to as we're moving along here, and you can t you t preview this, highlight a bit of the text track that you want to um, listen to. Let's listen to that. Yep, that's good. And what happened is the music faded out, but I was talking, but the music wasn't getting in too much of my um, in the way of my what I was saying. And this is a really good way of actually. Um, moving text, moving sound and um, voice around on a timeline. You use this tool here to move things around to get it exactly where you want it to be. And you can use the ducking tool to create um, points that you can then squeeze the music down, and it's very useful. So really, you keep you can keep repeating this entire process to create a multi-layered track and going on. Um, and obviously you'd have another piece of text coming on the end here if you're trying to create an mp3 program and you finally wrap up the entire thing as your own mp3 so let's do that now let's export as an mp3 our tracks will be mixed down into a stereo channel that's fine and we'll call this uh, podcast one and that will save as an mp3 file and you can fill out if you want to and our mp3 file has been created. If you don't do that and just save this as an Audacity file you get a .aup file which is, can only be played in Audacity. So you can save your project file save project as and we'll call this and our podcast has been saved to come back to it at a different time to edit but it's not an mp3 file you can load onto the internet. 